Hey everyone, I'm Kyle and this week's tutorial is going to be on advanced math operations in the EV3 programming software. So the advanced math block is an offshoot of the normal math block within the data operations of the EV3 software. So when you take out a math block you click in the bottom left corner and you can select advanced. And this is a really cool feature and you might choose to use it for one of these two reasons or maybe both of these reasons. The first reason is if you want to streamline multiple math operations within one block. So you can have up to four operations inside of that, that uh, advanced math block and that just uh, cuts down on the amount of programming that you have inside of your code. The second reason would be if you want to access some other more sophisticated math operations uh, aside from the four functions that your standard math block offers. And as you'll see, the advanced math block has trigonometric functions, uh, natural logs, uh, square roots, things like that. So it extends your palette of mathematical operations that you could do in the EV3 software. So now that we know the two reasons why you might choose to use the advanced math block, let's take a look at how to use it in the EV3 software. My EV3 software is open, so today I can show you this advanced math operations block, which you will find under the red data operations tab. So to get to advanced, you first need to drag out a regular old math block, and you add that to your program. And in here where you select the mode, instead of just uh, selecting one of these basic operations, you would go down to advanced. And by default, it gives you four different inputs, which are called arguments in mathematical terms. And in the top right corner, it gives you the equation. Now, of course, these are the different variable inputs. And you can see the equation is where you define the operation that happens with these inputs. So if we want to look at this equation, it gives us a lot of options here. So you could add, subtract, multiply, divide, just like the, the regular um, uh, four function operations. Then you have modulo, exponent, negate, floor, ceiling, round, absolute value, logarithm, natural log, sine, cosine, tangent, uh, arc sine, arc cosine, and arc tangent, those six being your trigonometric functions, uh, and then square root. So yeah, that's a lot to digest, but uh, this is very useful if you're doing a lot of advanced number operations in an EV3 program. Like for example, my GPS navigation program uses it because it needs these sine, cosine, and uh, arc tangent functions. Um, in order to navigate. But you could um, s uh, select any number of these operations, of course, because the advanced math block gives you the ability to use more than just the four functions that it originally gives you. But the other reason that you might want to use, even if you don't want to use these advanced functions, you could just still use these four functions here and use it to streamline multiple uh, operations within one uh, block. So then you could define your chain of operations, like let's say I want to start with A minus B, uh, and you can even just type in using the keyboard like I'm doing, and then you want to multiply by C. This is just a random equation that I'm making up. Uh, of course you're going to type in whatever equation you need for your specific robot. Let's say we want to divide by B, and you see I just typed that in using the keyboard. Now let's say we want B times C to be the first step that we do because it's going to go in terms of order of operations so you could add parentheses to tell it that you want a certain step to execute first so what it's going to do is multiply b by c first and then do the rest according to the regular order of operations so that's great if you have four different arguments that you want to use but what if say you just want to do three different operations and that fourth argument there is not going to do anything so how how do you even Oh, actually, I just realized I have divide by z, but uh, d is a value of 0, so that would be dividing by 0. And don't do that. It makes the world explode. Anyway, sorry for that tangent. Let's say you have only three different arguments that you want to do an operation with. This uh, fourth one you don't have anything for. How do you make it so that you use these three operations without the fourth one uh, messing up your program? So what you would do is after you've typed in your equation, I'm just going to use the same one for before, you change the last one to plus d so you can keep it within your operation here but set d to zero so that way you could do your operation with these first three values and then the plus d is just adding zero so that doesn't disrupt anything that's happening so that's how you use the advanced math block uh, with just uh, three arguments and then of course the result here is going to be your numerical value your output so then you could drag that out and use it in a different part of the program 
So that's the advanced math block. Just allows you to use several different operations within one block, or even some ad more advanced operations such as trigonometry or logarithms. Let me know in the comment section below if you're planning to use this in one of your projects, because I'm curious to see how you guys would use it. But anyway, that's how the math, the advanced math block works. Thanks for checking out my video this week. If you found it helpful, be sure to subscribe to my channel for more tutorials like this every week. And if you have an idea for a tutorial, leave it in the comments section below. Thank you, and I'll see you next time.